We come as families and friends. We come as co-workers and colleagues, survivors and caregivers. We come as teams and come together as communities taking up the fight against cancer. We come to remember loved ones we've lost and to celebrate life. We come to Relay. The Relay for Life is an event where you have teams of usually 15 people and for 24 hours or whatever portion of that somebody from your team is walking around the track. People pitch tents and it's a big huge sleepover and they're cooking food we have entertainment it goes on all day and all night. The American Cancer Society Relay for Life represents hope the hope that those lost to cancer will never be forgotten, that those who face cancer will be supported, and that those who fight cancer will one day succeed in eliminating the disease forever. The Relay for Life began in 1985 when a colorectal surgeon ran around a track for 24 hours to raise money for the American Cancer Society and raise awareness about cancer prevention. Since then, Relay donations have helped the American Cancer Society save lives, help those touched by cancer, and empower people and communities to fight back against cancer. This year, more than three million people, teams of cancer survivors, families, and friends, will spend a day and a night discovering that Relay for Life is an inspirational, life-changing event. When they tell you join, you think you're gonna just get money for an organization, and that's what you think it's all about. But no, it's, it's more than that. It's a, it's a school, it's a university. It is a total experience. It's not something where you write a check and you mail it in and, and that's it. You come out here and my son's school is out here, our church is out here. Everybody knows other teams and families of teams. So it's not just, I guess it's a big extended family. This is easy to me. I'll come, I'll get the teams together, I'll work in the tents, I'll be on the committee, I'll do whatever they need me to do if that's what it takes to raise money to research to cure this disease. Well, I got involved with it through my job at, at Trimble Memorial Hospital. And uh, that's what my surgery was. And so with the, the Relay for Life, I felt that uh, we were compelled to get involved with it because first of all, we're survivors, and then there are a lot of people who still have cancer. Every community, large or small, finds ways to make Relay its own. But every Relay event shares certain unforgettable moments of inspiration and reflection, beginning with the Survivor's Lap. The Survivor's Lap is something that you have to experience to really understand. You're out there with people who have had cancer with you, and you're walking around this track, and people are two and three deep applauding you, making all sorts of noise. It's a feeling like you've never experienced before. If it doesn't pull at your heartstrings, you don't have one. Every day for the past 365 days that you've watched him survive and watched him fight comes right up in full view. You see this confidence that comes over and this joy and this courage that they made another year. And if you had any idea what that year was about, you could never be more proud. You could never be more honored to know that survivor. And when darkness falls, you see the true magic of Relay, people coming together, one light after another, after another, after another, lighting up the darkness with hope. The luminary ceremony is a time for remembrance um, and for honoring those who have survived cancer, those who have not survived cancer. I mean, you know, for the head, really, and for the heart, and for the spirit. You know, it all just mixes together into, a, into one word, I think, is hope. Hope is the word that everybody wants to come out of this event with in their heart. We come to Relay, and together we've become a worldwide movement, saving lives, supporting those in need, and providing meaningful ways to make a difference in the fight against cancer. A lot of people that get cancer, they isolate themselves. 
and uh, they feel that there's no hope. But if you get around people like this and you get around support, I think it's important. Whenever you got support, it's grand. You know, it's so important to me that we continue to work on our research for this because I would not have had 19 drugs to try. I could not have survived these six years without somebody else doing so much hard work to make it um, possible for me. There's nothing more painful in this life than to have somebody taken away from you by cancer. And there's nothing you can do about it. The American Cancer Society is doing something about it. Everything they do is to try and make this world a better place for all of us. And it's nice being a part of that. There's so many things that are just happening and it's just so wonderful. So this is a, a wonderful event that we should have everywhere in every state. To join a relay team or start one, call 1-800-ACS-2345 or log on to cancer.org.